Give mommy high five. <laughs> Give mommy high five. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Oh, I have on my glasses today, and I look like Zaria. Yeah, I remember Zaria. I look crazy. Um, so I'm at school pretty early, 8:18. I like to get here early because of parking. Let me take those glasses off. I hate how I look in those glasses. I'm gonna go in a little bit. I'm gonna review some videos because I do have lab today, going over skills and pretty much preparing for clinical, which is Friday. what's in my clinical bag what I carry today so this is my clinical bag I actually couldn't bring this in the facility they did not give us lockers yet so we kept our bags in the car but everything here I of course carried with me starting with my clipboard I got this off of Amazon this is not the one that obviously folds in your pocket those are good but this was good as well I kept this at the nursing station so this is my assessment sheet and my care plan is in there as well, but I could keep everything in here. It's, it's kind of deep, but not that deep that you can put your phone and your your blood pressure cuff obviously in there, your stethoscope, like you can't put that stuff in there. With my pens, I did carry two black pens, but I also carry two different colored pens because when I'm making notes, I would like things to stand out and I was thinking about that before I even went to clinicals and sure enough, once I got to clinicals, I ended up using that method just for information that needed to stand out. So that brings me to my notebook. I would suggest you guys get a couple of these. I got this one from Dollar Tree and it came three in a pack. It was so useful. Honestly, it fits right into your pocket and I'm like kind of like halfway. So I might have to go back to Dollar Tree and grab a couple more. Comes in handy. You're not walking into the patient's room with your clipboard. I mean, at least I didn't. It was inconvenient and you have to wipe it down every time you're in and out so no i did bring my own hand sanitizer of course they have hand sanitizer there also you could bring alcohol wipes but i did bring these from my glasses lenses and my glasses get pretty dirty so i'm glad that i brought that also hand cream i would suggest you guys not bring hand cream i mean i use this because my hands get so dry but i used this before i went into clinical once i got into the clinical setting i kind of just tossed it because you don't know what's in there and the ingredients and stuff like that you just you don't want to touch your patients and they're allergic to some things so watch i used my apple watch while i was there my instructor did not mind it has a second hand so i wouldn't really be so pressed to go out and buy one of these if if they don't want you to carry Apple Watches or have one on, definitely get one. I forgot how much I spent on Amazon, but this one was pretty cheap. It's a Casio. Also, drug book guide. Um, I didn't really use it today. I would suggest you guys get one of these. I did have my patient's um, paperwork and I went through her medication. Some of them I didn't recognize. So this was helpful to get me familiar with the situation and work from there. Capstick definitely a necessity i kept this in my pocket your blood pressure cuff they usually have everything there but our instructor suggested that we bring our i did use mine primarily during the day you definitely want to wipe them off after each patient the same goes for your stethoscope definitely label your stethoscope if you could get one of these name tags 
that would be great. So if you do happen to put your stethoscope down, at least you can identify it. You don't want to lose your stethoscope. Not a Lipman, definitely not. I was starving. So I am in my car. I just pulled up at home. I'm so tired. I need to get my hair done. I'll probably straighten my hair because I am so tired of this raggedy looking curl. So I'm gonna catch you guys up. I had clinicals yesterday. It was so interesting of drama between the classmates. Just a uh, one group. They just did not get along, but um that was just because of miscommunication. But I mean for the most part, all of my classmates, we get along. I had a great day though. We had to help with breakfast yesterday and it was so cool because as soon as I came in, one of the ladies was like, oh, can you help me fill out my list? Which was like her food order for the week. So I sat down with her. But yeah, I had the Golden Girls at the table. Like they were so cute. One of them I had to assist her while she was eating and I fed her because she was a little shaky holding her cup and her spoon and everything. They were like, oh, she's not an eater like that. She ate her whole tray with me yesterday. I actually have to do a care plan for her and then we'll have that in by next week, Friday, and we'll be at the facility literally every week. And I told her, you know, I'll be back. As I was leaving her, it was so funny because I didn't think that she really spoke like that. Like you could tell, like she just had trouble speaking. But I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to leave you. You know, my instructor is calling me, and she was like, it's okay. I'm a big girl. I was like, oh my gosh, she's so funny. What you doing? I put it over. Put it over. Look, look, look. There you go.